Hey guys! Happy Saturday, everybody. I am taking Julie on a little surprise road trip. Well, we knew we were going on a road trip uh, to do a, a day out in Florida, away from the water, because we're going to take Abra with us. She's back here sleeping. So we had to find a pet-friendly little activity to do. Um, we have about a two-hour drive. Julie has no idea where we're going. Um, we're going to head, I'll just say, 95 north toward Orlando, and then we're going west across at least the middle part of the state. So we're gassed up. We just got our favorite coffee in Little Melbourne, our seven brew. And I got Julie tea. got tea. You got pears. They had. Tea? I did not know they had tea on the menu. So yeah. I, she said Paris tea was a little bit floral, and I said sign me okay. up. So. Yeah, because it's already 86, guys. It is 9:15, and it's already 86 out. So they're definitely cold beverages. We got some water in here. We have a few snacks. We have about a two-hour drive. And we'll see you on the other side to let you know where we end up. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love go. surprises and I love day trips and doing uh, off the beaten path kind of adventures. Let's so see how the Saturday turns out. Not wait. <laughs> Amelie's in Charlotte. Um, oh, what was all that? All the flour called? is heavy and it hits you hard after you swallow them. Is it so? Is it herbal? You think it's definitely herbal? For sure. Um, I'm, I'm, I haven't had any coffee yet this morning. Uh, for the record, Michael and I just got back from Greece about a week and a half ago. Something like that, yeah. But the day we got back from Greece, first Michael got sick, terribly, terribly sick. I didn't catch it for like five days. He's just <laughs> starting to feel better when I catch it. So Speaking of that. I slept away like several days of my life. <laughs> and we came back with this big, these big grand plans to I see know. Florida. And it's like, it ground, I mean, it literally it grounded us. I, I don't know what it was. Something apparently our bodies had never encountered before. From Got over. something in that plane. I think it was yeah. like from London to Charlotte. So. Anyway, he was sick for like five days and then I was sick for like five days. <laughs> so. I'm about 95%. You're probably what We're still a little in? sniffly and coffee, and I'm very sorry for that. If that, I'll try to edit all of that out of the video <laughs> if I can, but uh, uh, we're not 100% our best, but we're no longer contagious, and we just feel like we need to be out and about and doing some fun things since we've spent all, we have watched every movie we can think of. We have. Wrapped up in blankets, shivering. The last <laughs> we started with like Greek movies on our yeah. Greek history. And, we yeah. watched Troy and 300, and then we watched. <laughs> It went on from there. So went into Romans. And, we yeah, have spent so. ten days suffering. And we're, <laughs> we're ready to get back out and have some fun. So this is a, a beautiful Saturday, a very hot one. It is. It's it's the only day there's not a chance of rain all week long yeah. um, in, in our hurricane season. But um, yeah, this is inside and outside. So hopefully none of us, including Abra, gets gets too overheated. Did you and, say you um, found it on Bring Fido? I did. Julie let me know of a website I had never used before called bringfido.com. And basically what I said was top activities to do in Florida where you could bring pup along. And this one came up and see really what excited. we got into. You know I love day trips. And usually yeah. I'm the one doing all the planning. So this is really fun. And I don't know this. TripAdvisor gives it just over four stars out of five. But we did, um, we told, I told the little, the little girl that was waiting on us in the the drive through the coffee place where we were going and Julie plugged her ears and she went crazy so I wasn't sure how good it was going to be um, or if it was worth going to because it does cost some money and we'll get into that when we get up here because there's a couple of different options depending on what Julie wants to do and so she said she cried when she went there and, and so um, I can't I'm hoping I'm really it. hoping this is a good this is a good a good <laughs> little trip so I will say this Julie um, it is part of a company that has three locations. One is in Kentucky, and I know, I've never been to it, but it's near the cave system at Mammoth Caves. And one is in Texas. So this one they put in Florida, and it gets a lot of, of really good reviews. And they tell you if you're going to Disney, you're going to spend a week in Orlando. This is about a 30-minute drive from Orlando that you should do. So um, it's both adult and family-friendly. So we'll... We'll and dog friendly, we'll okay. And dog friendly. There were pictures posted everywhere with their pups, um, inside and outside. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a nice I'm little so excited. I'm I not used either. to being surprised like this. I, I know. This. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, we'll see you on the road. I'll show yep. you what it looks like driving to Orlando. All right. We're doing. Yeah, we, I was just telling her we've not seen any billboards. I thought for sure we would see billboards telling us that we've got this coming up off this exit, but we're getting no ready. idea what, where, where we're going. I have, I have not seen anything, and uh, we're how far away? Um, a mile from the actual place or from the exit? From the mile, I just yeah, I just saw something. What did you see? I'm not telling you because it'll give it away. I still don't know. I just saw it, and I'm glad you were looking at the camera because it just popped up off I of this exit. Idea. So I could have filmed it. You could have filmed it. You totally could have filmed it. The camera been turned around. That's hilarious. No, I have no idea. I'm okay. so excited. Well, you're seeing it because it's right oh, there. Oh, see the word dinosaur! <laughs> Yay! I love dinosaurs. Okay, let me turn the camera around. That's a life-size T-Rex. Wow! That's a life-size T-Rex. Yeah, all these are life-size. 135 dinosaurs throughout what? this whole... What? This whole thing. Oh my god, okay. Dinosaur World, open daily nine to five, and everything, you hear Abra crying, she knows I'm excited. Look, welcome. Poor Abra, I'm screaming, she's crying because I'm screaming. <laughs> Here we go, the first one. Can you believe that's life size? No. Oh, I love Triceratops, they're one of my favorites. Yeah, they're one of my favorites. <laughs> Get your wristbands and you guys are good to go. Awesome. So this is Dinosaur World in Plant City, Florida, and they have hundreds of life-size statues of dinosaurs. Dogs are allowed anywhere in the park except for two indoor museums. Michael and I spent over three hours at Dinosaur World, and according to his watch, it said we walked almost three miles in that time, and we had about an hour and a half worth of footage between my phone and the GoPro. I've decided with all that footage, I'm going to make an entirely separate video dedicated just to dinosaurs. But in this video, I'm going to put some of my favorites and some of the cute footage with Abra and just how impressive this place is. I'll put in a variety of dinosaurs. But I thought you would like it. I love this. I love and, dinosaurs. And, you know, I knew we could find something better than Bongo Land. So I really love dinosaurs and this was an awesome surprise for Michael to bring me here. I really got into dinosaurs during the pandemic when we were all stuck at home and I read a really neat book called The Rise and Fall of the Dinosaurs by Stephen Brusatti. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. I enjoyed the book so much that I've kind of been on a dinosaur quest ever since to watch anything I can find on TV or streaming services. And if you've been around for a while, you probably saw our Bongo Land video where I was really excited to go see some 1940s impressions of dinosaurs. It's wild to me to think that Bongo Land is only about 50 or 60 years older than Dinosaur World, but how different the dinosaurs look and how much we learned about dinosaurs in that time. I mean, how big is that one? Well, I guess both of them are and to realize that they're elephants, so they're, they're not threatening, I guess, to us, right? I know. Of course, we probably hunted Three them. inches layer of, flat, of fat. I can't believe how many they put in. Yeah, it's not just one for the yeah. species, you know? Oh, I love mammoths. If there's anything I like more than dinosaurs, it's mammoths. It was a super hot day in July when we were at Dinosaur World, so thank goodness for these occasional sprayers to help cool us down. They tried to reproduce one of these, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Oh, look at their necks. Wow. Like I said, I've left out any information about dinosaurs or showing any of the signs just because I thought it was distracting from what a cool place this is. But there'll be an entire video about all, every single one of these dinosaurs coming out in just a few days, and I've put a lot of work into it. It's almost an hour and a half long. So if you want to learn more about dinosaurs, I have just the video for you coming out real soon. I feel like we saw these. Two of the 
Uh, yes, I think we did in, in, uh, in prehistoric planet. Yeah. I was especially excited by what a great job Dinosaur World had done of meshing the dinosaurs in with the natural landscape, making them interact with trees and plants. This is not to be underestimated as a beautiful botanical gardens also. See, I would have just thought this was a stegosaurus. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one looks tough. I am so loving how they've meshed the dinosaur. I keep saying this, but I can't get over it. How they've meshed the dinosaur and the foliage. Yeah. Yeah, they've done a really good job. This is You know how much I love plants. I mean, I don't want to know anything about them, but I just think they're gorgeous. Yeah. And that's full size. Up too. I know. Do you think it's based on any type of fossils that they found? Maybe. I thought the skeleton garden was really neat because they set up life-size skeletons standing upright in sort of a recreated natural habitat, which was something I had not seen before. What I can't believe is that I never I never knew this existed. And I'm the one over here on TripAdvisor and Google looking for dinosaurs near me. <laughs> you know? like Mosasaurs. God, did you know they were this big?
Oh look, it's finally a Triceratops. Did you get this little guy? He looks kind of like a panther, the way he's standing. His stance. Oh dang. Holy hell. That's life size. Have you ever We really? Can you believe that? Are you kidding me? No. Abra, wait. We got here at 11:20, and it's it's now 1:25. Did you sit on it? No, no, it's over here in the grass. Okay, make sure everybody knows he's okay. but it was shaded. It was very well shaded. I was shocked, pleasantly so. Um, $24.95 per adult. 
I think children were about $19. Yeah, the add-on was um, a $5 train ride, which we got video of, you'll see, but we didn't actually pay the $5. It's, it's going around the same track that you walk around, so we didn't really think that was worth it. I loved it. Um, very, very, very dog-friendly, pet-friendly. There were only two small areas that ever couldn't go to, which were their, you know, Indoor their museums. museums, thank you, where they had actual fossils on display, but behind glass. So Julie and I traded, went in one at a time. But yeah, other than that, it's, yeah, I've not been to a lot, I've not been to a lot of dinosaur exhibits, I'll say it that way. But this one was really cool. Um, of course, Julie and I have been to the New York uh, History, uh, Natural History Museum. I've been to the one in Chicago, um, but this one, having out in the wild, being life size, painted very well done, painted fresh paint, um, even the eyes. I thought it was really, really cool. The information they gave in front of each one uh, was really neat, and in a lot of places they had scenes set up, so like eating scenes or packs if they were pack animals. Uh, there was a really cool woolly mammoth, a uh, little section two. I've never seen anything like this. I loved it. I thought it was so well done. Goodness. And they did such a good job of mixing the natural Florida vegetation with these dinosaurs so that you were in the shade almost the whole time. And, uh, you know, it wasn't like the sun was beating down on us or anything. Abra got a little overheated, I think, but she is a solid black furry dog. And so she, I let her stay in the shade sometimes while we walked around filming in the sun. And they had open water mm -hmm. near the restroom. They had the a couple places actually where you can get your water dog uh, water for your dog. So that was awesome too. I absolutely loved it. I think this was the coolest thing. I cannot. The gift eat. shop. Yeah. Gift shop was really nice. We didn't buy anything. We don't need anything. But man, they had megalodon teeth. You could buy authentic, you know, authentic real ones. fossils. Like uh, T Rex teeth. Um, they had mosasaur. Uh, Teeth. Triceratops teeth and, and legs, T Rex uh, legs. Uh, yeah, you said you said mosasaurs. Mm -hmm. um, Willy mammoth teeth, like actual ones that gave you the COAs, the authenticity of where they were dug up. Most were in Colorado. And it, Joy and I are like, if we had a house and we knew we were staying here for years, this might become a collection room that we <laughs> we put on display. Such a nice. I have no idea. You could just purchase fossils. I'm Apparently, that ignorant. I didn't know that. I mean, that. we're 30 minutes outside of Orlando, so we're not in, like, the touristy trap. No. What a nice place. Plant City is what it's officially That's called. That's the name of this town? Mm -hmm. So it's a nice place. I, I mean, family-friendly. There were clean restrooms everywhere. It included uh, 18 trails of mini golf, yeah. which we didn't play. It's a, it, That was a little kid. It's totally for the kids. Yeah, there was a place for little kids to go, like, mining for gemstones, and there was mm -hmm. another place where they could go digging for fossils, and I'm sure it was something in there they could find. And, yeah. Uh, little playground area. Um, all, like I said, it was all shaded. There were vending machines if you needed snacks, but there were plenty of, plenty of covered picnic spots if you wanted to bring in your own outside food and drink. Um, I cannot believe, just, I'm just blown away what a nice little yeah. place this was. And to, to be so family friendly and also so pet friendly. Yeah, that was the first question that, that Jill's asked when we walked up to the counter. And she said, oh, absolutely, of course, yes. There's just don't take them in the indoor yeah, museum. And she and, us, uh, that was no even problem. Even the gift shop. Yeah. Abra was welcome to walk around the gift shop. And there was expensive stuff in that gift shop Abra could have broken. <laughs> yeah. And there was nothing in the indoor museum Abra could have broken. But, um, it was, it was really nice. I'm just, I'm tickled to death. 25 okay. years. 25 they had a years. sign that they said they December. Have... They celebrate. So I was thinking, you know, Bongo Land is about 80 years old. And those cement dinosaurs, compared to these dinosaurs, which are, I guess, about um, 55 years younger than the Bongo Land dinosaurs, and just what a huge difference in size, scale, accuracy, everything. I just think there's a, we, we learned a lot about dinosaurs those 55 years right it sounds like a long time but a, but it's a blip right when you're talking about fossils and like jill said the the, the difference i know what bongo land wanted to be we think bongo land wanted to be dinosaur land world world dinosaur world but um i don't know i mean it was just it was just really cool it would tell you and it had something as you know as, as small as detail on the teeth how many teeth they had you saw them there were 
numerous, which you you see a lot of them in this video, of picture opportunities for kids, for <laughs> pets. We did, we made an effort going into a couple of those. And like, of course, there were signs to stay off the actual dinosaurs, but you could get so close to them, you could still get a really nice photo with the yeah. dinosaur. You know, like that yeah. was so nice. And um, they had a wing, one section in the, in the way back, where. Sorry you could meet real paleontologists that would tell you about different dig sites that they had on display. I that went in cool. and uh, there were two paleontologists. And one of them was talking to a little kid and the kid was obviously a big dinosaur fan. And I listened for a little bit and then I went around and um, you know, wanted him to enjoy the the, the child to have a good time and so I went around the other paleontologist was there and he was like yeah you want to touch this egg it's what kind of dinosaur was it <laughs> hey the had, hadrosaur was it had, 65 million years old 65 million <laughs> I, believe, I believe is what he said it was a hadrosaur egg he's like yeah you can touch this fossilized egg like wow I've never been able to do something like that actually touch it you know um I, I I don't even know how to stop talking about this place it was such a such a cool 10 out of 10 I, I can you can buy you. an annual pass and if I didn't yeah. know that we could possibly be moving out of Florida in less than a year I I would I have totally bought one I could come here once a month and be thrilled to do that I, yeah it, it is it's it's repeatable for sure um, and I'm thinking as a kid if we were here and this is where we went to school and went on a field trip like it's totally what I would have wanted to do for a living to have an actual yeah. archaeologist talk to me about that uh, it was a, it was a t-rex skull and they had found it in a site where a t-rex and a triceratops had fought and both died in the Hell's same Creek, spot yeah. yeah Hell's Creek yeah so anyway it was just it was just so cool it was so cool I loved it uh, 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 would recommend <laughs> want to go back it was we we walked the whole thing and we're pretty hot and I I originally said I was going to walk it all again as soon as we finished, but the poor pup was getting kind of tired, so we will definitely be back, right, babe? I totally think so. We are headed to Lakeland right now to stop at a um, kombucha, crazy kombucha, to get some of that for the road, and then we might be stopping one other place before we make our way back. I just found a cookie place he wants to check out. After all this time in the sun, I feel like, you know what, we deserve a cookie. <laughs> We've had nothing to eat. We haven't today. talked about food yet. We no, should we talk haven't. about that and get back to the camera when we have a plan. Yeah, the important stuff. Found this place in the backside of nowhere called Crazy Kombucha, locally brewed. We're going to take little Boo Boo in and see if they'll let her go in with us. Yep, they said they love dogs at Crazy Kombucha and invited Abra right on in to enjoy the air conditioning with us. This is by far the most different types of flavors I've ever seen on a kombucha menu ever in my life. The lady behind the counter gave us a taste test and we tried almost all of them and they were all delicious. I ended up getting a full size of the Tropical Sunrise and Michael got a full size Dole Whip. Yeah, that's the Dole Whip and then a oh. uh, I was drinking your Dole Whip. Do you like this one too? <laughs> she even gave us a tour of the kombucha making process and showed us her scoby, which I think is beautiful and I love to see it. We're just a little bit bummed that Crazy Kombucha is so far away from where we live, but we will absolutely stop in anytime we're in their area. So our decision on food was pizza. That's usually what we're craving when we have a big adventure day out in the sun. So we looked up good pizza near where we were and found this place called Upper Crust in Celebration Village. As you can see, Michael likes extra pepperoni and I need pineapples on my pizza for it to be perfect. It up. Cheese it up. Hmm. I think you really like it. Oh, it's hot. It's 
sweaty again. It's 97 degrees out <laughs> here. And we ate outside. But that pizza was the, the best, best pizza had, yeah. I've had in Florida yeah. yet. Since we moved here a year and a half ago. Yeah, that's true. What was yep. it called? The crust the pizza? Upper crust. Upper crust, yeah. In celebration. In celebration. Just a traditional <laughs> white, so nothing fancy. Half pepperoni and half pineapple. So we always get our white pizzas. And Michael ran in a little bakery. I don't even know the name of it. Uh, and got some cookies. Savano. Anyway, I got. Th I wanted to try three other cookies. It's not Gideon's. The traffic is horrible here. It would be another. We were gonna place. go. We were excited to go to a place called Ash's Bake Shop that we've been following on Instagram. That's where we were talking about at the beginning of this video. But yeah. it turns out we get all the way here uh, to Celebration, which is where we thought she was. And when we pulled her up on the map, she only makes food and cookies that get delivered to the Disney parks. So. Yeah, there was no street like number. We just knew it was on Celebration Boulevard <laughs> and got into the corporate Disney offices <laughs> and we're like, okay, well, let's just go into the town square of Celebration and find some pizza. We did. Uh, we don't have the cookies tasted okay. yet. We'll but, try these cookies. Um, the pizza was great. It tasted, I hate that we have to compare things to Charlotte, but our favorite pizza in Charlotte, this is as close as we found in Florida so far. No hot honey. That was okay though, but big dollops of ricotta and they did it right. You have to bake that a little bit longer because of the ricotta. I so ate three thick. of my pieces. Me too. I shared my last piece with Abra. <laughs> it was a definite win. Very we will be back for that. I yeah. would come back all the way. I'm not a Disney adult, but I would come we all would the way back totally to celebration this Saturday to do that. Dino. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then come, and the kombucha was awesome. Mm -hmm. Everything's been great. Yeah, I would totally repeat this day. <clears throat> Maybe we'll figure out how to get Ash's Bake Shop cookies. It's just we don't want to go into the parks, so we don't know how right. to get them. And they, the they deliver to any resort on Disney property, so we might have to stay. That might be something that we do, like I don't know, around Halloween. We have been to Mickey's Not So Scary once. Mm -hmm. Once, yeah, uh, for Julie's birthday a few years ago. So, but anyway, they deliver free delivery to any Disney resort. We thought it was a walk in, it is not a walk in bake shop. And so, we've done the best we could do here in Celebration Village. It's 5 20, and we're off we're headed home again. All right, so here we go. This looks like a mess. <laughs> yeah. But this is my keto cheesecake that Michael made for me and I had trouble scraping it out of the pan, as you can see. It's got honey, sour cream, eggs, vanilla flavoring, and heavy whipping cream? No, sour cream. Sour cream in it, yeah. yes. And then these are the cookies he got at the bakery that I forgot the name of again. I'm gonna look them up and put them on the screen right about here. <laughs> Uh, they're in Celebration Village, right near the pizza place where we ate. But these look awesome. He got two chocolate chip cookies and this chocolate... What is this? It's a double chocolate. Double chocolate. I'm definitely going to be eating my keto cheesecake, but having a few bites of these. <laughs> Do you like the cookies? Hmm. <laughs> they're okay, but they're overbaked. When they're overbaked, when you bite into them and they're not soft, they become dense. The double chocolate is a little chewier, but not doughy I took at all. a bite of the chocolate chip, I hated it. It was, it, well, I, heard I thought it was gonna break my teeth. Here. Yeah, I know. Definitely not my kind of cookie. I not, like a big, fat, thick, tall cookie, but I really like it to be chewy. Maybe a little crispy around the edges, but. For the price, they were $4 and like 30 mm -hmm. cents. Would you ever go back? Not to this place. Not to the dessert by pizza places. Not to this <laughs> Sorry, cookies were a bust. No, it's okay. That's too bad. Little girl wants some. Come have some cheesecake with me. Come on. Come on. Let's go.